When Jesus went to the tomb of his friend Lazarus, who had died, he called out, Lazarus, come out. And the, the man who had been dead, Lazarus, came out alive. And, and when we say that Lazarus came out, we, we don't say that because we think that Lazarus came out by his own power, and that he raised himself from the dead. It's very clearly Jesus who raised him from the dead. But we also say that Lazarus came out. He, he was walking. The same thing goes for, for the gift of repentance. It is the Holy Spirit's work in us to bring us to spiritual life. We can't do it on our own. It happens in us, and, and we repent. We can say that, that we repent, but it's only because of the work of the Holy Spirit in the Word. Just like Lazarus, Lazarus came out alive only because Jesus spoke. So we repent only because of the Holy Spirit's work in the Word. This Sunday, we're going to hear a trilogy of parables about repentance and about heaven's joy every time one sinner repents. And, and when we hear the, this trilogy of parables in Luke 15, we'll see that it's very clearly God's work in us that allows us to repent. And it is heaven's great joy when a sinner is found, when a sinner is brought to life, when a sinner repents, which are all three ways of saying the same thing that'll be pretty clear in these parables as we hear them on Sunday. Now, Jesus told this, this, this trilogy of parables to people who were grumbling about sinners being welcomed, sinners being found, sinners repenting. It's pretty pretty awful when, when you get yourself stuck, get yourself so angry about something that you start complaining about something that makes heaven happy, something that, that gives heaven joy, that causes the angels to celebrate and have a party, like when one sinner repents. But the Pharisees were angry that the tax collectors and sinners were coming to Jesus. He was welcoming them. He found them. He brought them to life. Is there anything that heaven loves that you don't, that you fight against, that, that maybe you get yourself stuck in such a rut that you grumble about something that the angels long to look into, that the angels rejoice over? As you prepare for, for this Sunday, ask yourself some, some probing questions like that. You know, what? What sort of things am I grumbling about? Are, are any of them the kind of things that heaven thinks differently about than I do? And pray that, that through the Spirit's work, and pray confidently that the, that the Spirit is able to bring a change of mind, some repentance uh, in us, so that if ever we're grumbling about something that brings heaven joy, that our mind would change, be more in line with the joy of heaven. For that's a joy that no, no amount of grumbling uh, can, can ever bring. Sometimes we feel some happiness, some crude happiness, but some kind of happiness when we're grumbling, complaining, especially if we can complain with someone else about someone else. But that, that's a broken kind of joy when we're grumbling with other people. The joy of heaven is eternal. And that's the joy to long for. And the work of repentance for sinners who are lost to be found, who are dead to be alive, this is the great joy of heaven. And so as we repent, as we're brought there, we also bring joy to heaven. That's something to, to long for every day. How can I make heaven happy today? Where in, in his word is the Holy Spirit working to, to call me to repentance. That's something to be open to and something to long for every day. And to know that I'm a sinner and to know that the Holy Spirit's always calling back, always, always working to, to bring me back to life. And when he brings me to repentance, heaven throws a party. Dear people of God, as you prepare for Sunday morning, 
and pray that the Holy Spirit through his word will work that kind of repentance in your heart so that heaven would rejoice over you. Peace be with you.